Gabe, I got a story for you. So, like, I just got a new job. Okay. So, I'm a delivery person. You know, like Fry from Futurama. Except I don't get killed and get my body parts ripped off and all the fun stuff that happens in that show. So you're a delivery person like any other delivery person. You don't have to use Fry from Futurama as an example, really. Your mom's gay. <sighs> Starting it off like that. All right. All right. You're a delivery person. Where does this go? Right. So an interesting story. So I, th- I think it was like two days ago. I was delivering food to this lady. Mm-hmm. And she had one of the... You know how like girls wear big shirts and it looks like they're not wearing any pants? But usually they have like super short little shorts on or whatever yeah yeah whatever True. and you're like where are your pants and then they like turn or something and you're like oh there they are you you say that to them no you're i like, don't where are your pants and then they turn around like okay you're like there they are my like internal fatherly instincts are like oh what happens if you sit down and you're not wearing pants yeah i know what you mean i have that yeah like it's like i want them to yeah. be safe i don't Absolutely. want them getting you know, sitting down on, like, I don't know, a pine cone yeah, and getting some old shoved creep up is just yeah. staring at them. You, yeah. Maybe, like, there's a, like, a really weird hobo who's disguised as a bench. Yeah, very specific. Right. Wait, what? And when you sit on the bench, he's just rock hard. And you just kind of, like, slowly, like, you sit okay. down and then all of a sudden, whoop, you got space aids. I've never had this scenario play out in my head, but okay. You have, you've never been to New York City? <clears throat> All right, so so you were you were delivering food, I'm guessing. Right, I was delivering food. So it w- it was like a rich lady or whatever. I maybe mid thirties. I don't know. Whatever. Mm-hmm. She was alright looking, I guess. But um, so I was I bending down to get her food, like out of my box or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she bent down too to like pick it up, you know. And she's just wearing this shirt or whatever. And as she's as as I start coming up, she comes up faster than I do. So she like stands up and then. For a second, I'm just face-to-face, crotch level, but, like, legs open wide, you know, like, when you're standing up. Okay. And I just see a full-on vagina staring at me. It was like looking at, like, fear itself. It was terrifying. What? what why? How? How does that work? I don't... Did the shirt fly up when she's... No, no, no. So, you know, like, okay, so how, like, shirts do that when you, like... If you have, like, a long shirt, it's not going to, like, always cover, like, that okay. lower half. all right. Yeah, I mean... She's probably in bed Yeah, doing I, adult stuff, and then... Adult here. stuff? Like, what, shoving taxes up her vagina? <laughs> yeah, adult stuff. <laughs> Kids, if you're listening to this, you'll get it later. You'll get it later. Um, by the way, this episode is sponsored by Lubiderm. Uh... Huh. Yeah. And, and Lubiderm is excellent for fixing your car. Um, you... It's hair gel. Hair gel, yeah. Sometimes you just... You're gynecologist. Um, you can also wanna... rub other people's bodies with it. In... If you want to squeeze into tight spaces. Uh, yeah, therapeutic, like if they have back problems. Or if you're trying to pull an Ocean's 8 yeah. and trying to sneak in somewhere. And I heard people like to fill tissues with it. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, that's a weird thing, man. That's interesting. I mean, I always see like people having tissue boxes and a thing of Lubiderm. So I'm just assuming that they, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know why, man. Some people have weird hobbies, like yeah. origami. Who Peanut the f- butter and jelly. You yeah. Know, salt and pepper. Who the fuck made origami? It's folding fucking animals into paper. Out of paper. Into paper. I don't fucking know. They fold animals out of paper? Yeah, dude. That makes... Into paper? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they grab, like, dolphins, and they fold them into their paper. Welcome to Gator Sauce. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Gator Sauce. Hosted by a few cowboys. I'm Willie Nelson. I'm, I'm my, my name's Gabe. Gabe? Yeah, I broke character. I, oh, fuck. Shit. I'm Kurt. Yeah. As yeah. in, like, Cobain. Yeah, that's I killed you... myself recently. I mean, ten years ago. <laughs> You and know, I'm back. You know Kurt Cobain still has a Twitter account? You know Kurt Cobain's a socialist? Even though Twitter didn't exist when he killed himself? No, Really? 
<laughs> he's, he actually has a Twitter account and he's verified. And he tweets on the regular. Dude, so does Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah. Speaking of Michael Jackson. He touches kids. Currently still. <laughs> he does. does. You know, like, the Thriller video? Yeah. It's he very real. Ima- yeah, imagine. It, that. Like, he was just prepping. He was like, I know I'm gonna die. Yeah. And I'm gonna turn into a zombie. Hmm. So, I might as well, like, look the part. And yeah. I might as well, like, secretly tell the world. That way when people see me as zombie Michael Jackson, they'll know. Yeah, they'll know. And they'll then like, I've seen you as a zombie. I know and you And then like... when he's touching kids, they'll be like, oh, it's just what zombies do. They 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 touch people. Yeah, because uh, kid touchers, like, explain themselves yeah. a lot. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Pizza Gate. Well, this is Gator Sauce. This is a podcast where we talk about just things. Pop culture. Usually pop culture with um, things. Yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. Pop culture is overrated. We should talk about... Um, what's the opposite of pop culture? Um, Cult culture? Popcorn? popcorn? Yeah. Beer. Live birth. Oh, I was going to segue, but... Oh. Beer. beer. Speaking of beer, <laughs> what are we drinking today? Today? Okay. Oh, God. So, we went to go get the beer, as we normally do. And most of the time, we just decide on the spot while we're out. And uh, today, we both got a beer that uh, neither of us has tried before. Nope. But the reason we got it is because uh, Kurt really liked the name, and he wanted to say it on air, so I'm going to let him do the honors. Oh, no, no, no. You have to say it. I have to say it? Yeah. Well, the name of the beer is uh, is Ho Garden. Ho Garden? Isn't that where I saw your mom last night? Yeah. You've been waiting so long to say that. <laughs> well, it's Ho Garden. It's, I'm assuming, what is it, German? Uh, I want to say so, yeah, but like that double A. Okay, it's spelled H O E G Ah double A R D E N. Got a, the a, double A sound in German. Ah. <laughs> it's H O E G Ah R D R D E N. Yeah, so it's pronounced Ho Garden. It's called Ho Garden Vita Blanche. And it is an original... Oh, it's Belgian. Yeah. Oh, we fucked up. Well, it's a Belgian wheat beer. Wait, aren't Belgians the same thing as Germans except, like, their flags the diff- other way? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So same thing. We're not racist. Yeah. Well, fuck Brazil, man. <laughs> the World Cup, yeah. The World uh, Cup. Hey, I didn't even know Croatia could afford to buy soccer balls. <laughs> I thought... I thought they were, like, deeply in debt or something. Oh, hey, God. have you seen their president? No, I haven't. Well, apparently she's a smoking hot babe. She has tits, like, the size of beach balls or something. No, you're allowed to be sexist because you're gay, right? Yeah, that's... <laughs> I get a pass. Well, I, I I won't say anything about that. I don't even know what she looks it's like. It's like being... And if she did, I wouldn't comment on her appearance. More so on her political, you know... I think she's an <laughs> idiot because her country's in debt. I actually don't know if that's true. She's probably a very smart and wonderful, talented woman, but I'm just here making jokes. Yeah. Well, I was actually at work today, and um, a lot of the uh, a lot of my coworkers were coming up to me, who are way more into soccer than I am. I'm Brazilian, so oh, yeah. I should be into soccer, but I'm not because I don't care. The Haitians and Jamaicans just love it. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of my coworkers are Haitian, Jamaican. From Pretty cool, dude. They always, and they were coming up to me all day, being like, "Hey, what's the score? What's the score?" Because last game or last time I was at work, I was watching the Brazil game because I have to. Because, uh, because it's your country. Me. Yeah. yeah. So, and now they think I'm into soccer. Oh, so they boy. were coming up to me like, oh, how's the game? What's going on? And I am like, I'm Googling up World Cup, looking at the live report. I'm like, oh, England's winning. And so, you know the thing that, I don't know if they're just trying to be nice, but they can look it up themselves, can't they? Well, they're, they're, I don't think they're allowed to have their phones out. I am in the I'm, position where I am allowed to have my I'm phone allowed out. to, I, well, I'm technically. You're not allowed to. Okay. I was well, talking to them about it. I'm like, why don't you just do what Kurt does? And he's, they're like, no, you, we can't do that. <laughs> Kurt doesn't know it, but he's getting fired. Really? Did they yeah. say that? No, they didn't. Uh, I'm surprised you aren't fired. Really. I'm really surprised, too. I, I don't know, man. I need to do something different with my life. <laughs> like, kill myself. Oh, God, you say that every podcast. I know. So it's great, because if you keep on using the joke, it gets funnier every time. I don't know if that's how that works. Your mom. <laughs> see, yeah, that's see? hilarious now. <laughs> so, how, how do you like the Ho Garden? Uh, I think it's, I mean, it's a little hoppy. But it, it's not bad. It's, it's not like that hoppy. No, I'm usually I, not into hoppy beers, but I don't mind it. It's it's kind of citrusy. Um, very earthy. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Very earthy, yeah. It it has that wheat flavor. Um, like, color-wise, or at least op- opacity, it looks kind of like 
Uh, Blue Moon. Does it? I, I mean, the bottle's brown, so I can't really tell. Well, I mean, like, you can you can tell because, like, it's harder to see through. Right. Like, it's... You can pour it out on the... You on the pour onion. it on the floor. You just pour it on the floor and watch it. You have a bowl of gummy worms here. I'm just going to pour it in. Dude, there. beer and gummy worms? Yeah. Dude, I there. would... Like, if you did that, I would just shove my face in the bowl and just go... <laughs> can't you just set gummy hey. worms in liquor and then get, like, alcoholic gummy worms? I know that's a thing. That is a thing. Yeah. Have you seen the thing where they, like... I've seen the thing. With they hollow cool. out, or they, like, core a uh, watermelon, and they shove a vodka bottle in it. You know, like, how I do when I'm really bored, I actually shovel, like, a full vodka bottle up my ass. <clears throat> but except this time it's with a watermelon, and it's for parties, not depression. So, so do you like, do you like Idris Elba? Who? Gator sauce. Gator sauce. <laughs> do you like Idris Elba? Is that a type of tomato? This guy, Idris Elba, let me show you a picture. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, he's in movies. Yeah, he's a... I mean, a lot of people like him. He's really he's a really uh, really renowned actor. Very handsome man. Uh, I thought you would like him because, you know... He's you're rugged. Homo- you're a homosexual. What does that have to do with it? Does that, does that mean I have to like men? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what that means. And he's a handsome man. So I thought you were going to be like... No, yeah, he's a... He's you're a, just going to lose your shit. He, but no, but that thing, didn't go the way of No, plan. he's not... He's... I, I know who, who he is. You I know, know who, who he is. is. <laughs> and now I know who he is. Yeah, he's in like, Thor. Yeah, he's uh, he's gatekeeper dude. Ha- Heimdall. Ah, quite like our beer. His name's Hogarden. That wasn't even close. <laughs> um, this this episode is just one failed joke after the other. Your mom's a failed joke. Uh, see, that's what I mean. So he's going to play the villain in the next Fast and Furious movie. Oh! It's actually going to be a spinoff of the... Uh, so. Dwayne Johnson's character and Jason Statham's characters, um, they're getting a spinoff. And I guess they're getting uh, Idris Elba to play the villain there. Could be interesting. Hmm. Have a you, black you, man is a villain. I mean, Dwayne Johnson's like, isn't he half black or something? He's like Samoan. Yeah. That's not half black. I'm pretty sure he's half black. Well, maybe, but maybe like, full, that's not the same thing. I'm pretty, his dad is black. I don't know about his mom. But his dad was never a villain. His dad was a wrestler. So? He could have played the heel. Well, like, that. okay, but that, then again, that was, like, the 80s. Have you not seen Glow? Look. Or, look. like, actual wrestling? No, I haven't. Oh. I like real stuff, like movies. <laughs> Which are the fake, like too. Like the Fast and Furious movies, based well, they're on true mo- story. They're, they're more fake than wrestling. Because wrestling people act, well, okay. No. I mean, there's the Exorcist girl. The Exorcist girl. Didn't something fucking horrible happen to her or whatever? Did she get exorcisted? No, like there's... Like, look, uh, I don't... Did she get I ghosted? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> um, um, are you a fan of the Fast and Furious movies? No. Why? There's so much fun. I look, like... I, I don't like them. Why? Okay, which ones have you seen? Uh, I like Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift's amazing. Yeah, I like okay, it for the That's a aesthetic. very controversial one. I love it. It's my favorite one. Why? Because... Because it's like, it's it's just pure, like, it's very much of its time. Like, mm-hmm. 2006, like, that's, it's, whatever was cool in 2006, that movie pushes it. Like Bratz. Yeah. <laughs> like Bratz. But no, it's like, it's very much of its time. And the thing is, it's set in, like, 2016. <laughs> but it's very, like, everyone in Tokyo, by the way, which is a very... Yeah, they have flip phones. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. But uh, I lo- I lo- I'm a fan of the of the franchise. There's a few that I don't like. Two is bad. Four is eh. I know. I remember you did like a whole marathon. Yeah. I was like, why are you watching these crap movies? They're, You're they're, a movie major. No, they're the kind of thing where like it's a it's not a guilty pleasure because like you can admit that why you like it. Like it's very emotional for the but it it doesn't earn the emotion or it doesn't work for the emotion. But somehow it feels earned. Why aren't sense. you watching the Grand Budapest Hotel? I actually haven't seen that yet. Really? It's on my laptop. I just I have seen it too. It. Yeah, it's actually a good movie. Really? Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, like. Wes Anderson, and all his movies are great. I need to catch up on Wes Anderson. I like to listen to the Black Keys because you know I imagine that every person who watch is like ardently, ardently watches like Wes Anderson films. Loves the Black Keys, like they right. have like all their like albums on vinyl. Wow, I don't put those two together. I don't know because they're hipster shits. Huh? I don't know. Well, in uh, ne- another bit of news, uh, we have. Uh, are you a fan of Nicolas Cage? Ghost Rider? Yeah. But he's actually in the Marvel Universe, and 
some sort of Marvel universe. Well, I know, but I know he is. Ghost yeah, Rider is. but now he's in a different Marvel universe. He's, Which He's going to be in Spider Man Into the Spider Verse, the animated movie about Miles Morales, and mm. they meet a bunch of different. Childish Spider-Man. Gambino. Well, no, I know. Well, Childish Gambino played his uncle in the movies. Yeah, but I know. No, Nicolas Cage is playing is voicing Peter Parker. Or no, sorry, what am I saying? He's voicing um, Spider Man Noir. <gasps> so I guess a version of Peter Parker. Oh, no way! Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I love those comics. Yeah. Dude, Spider Man Noir was like. I remember on Free Comic Book Day, they gave us an issue of Spider Man Noir. Is it Peter Parker? I think so. Hmm. But yeah, that's going to be. Like, he's doing some interesting uh, animated roles. He was Superman in the Teen Titans Go movie. Which is funny because he wanted to be Superman yeah. in real life. Yeah. But now he got his wish, though. In real life, not in the movies, either. He wanted that. Yeah, he wanted, to be, he wanted to be... Um, he wanted like, to get powers. He wanted to be Man of Steel. Yeah. He wanted to punch someone with his lasers. He wanted to snap someone's neck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Superman does that. Hey, right? did you hear that Scarlett Johansson's going to become a trans person? And people are getting mad about that. Yeah, but she, wasn't she also, like, an Asian or whatever? Okay, I feel like it doesn't make sense for people to get mad. I, as, as a straight person... I feel person, like it does make sense for people person, to get mad. No, no, here's the thing, here's the thing. I think the problem... Obviously, it makes sense for people to get mad that she's playing something that she isn't. Yeah. And that there's plenty of other actors who could portray that role more. That said, if it was... I feel like it would be worse. Okay. This is very controversial, and mm-hmm. that's what we do. Well, this is show. a controversial podcast. I feel like it would be worse. Right now, we are on the forefront yeah. of controversy and political news. People listen to this podcast mm-hmm. uh, to figure out their political views. Yeah, that's why, I mean, we are very well-versed in what we're talking about. Exactly. We and the authority on what we're talking about. And we're about. wearing ties right now. Now, I think, why are people complaining about this? And there's a bunch of Thai boys stuck in a cave. I feel like it'd be way worse if she was cast as the Thai boys. <laughs> <laughs> so stop losing your shit and just appreciate the fact that you're getting the best case scenario. I heard situation. Michael Jackson was watching over the Thai boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So I built a mini submarine last week. Really? And I'm going to go save these kids. Meanwhile, just fucks Grimes and that's it. Goes to, Ty- goes to Taiwan. Oh, well, well, good job, team. We did it. Elongated muskrat. Dab. Dude, I want to see Elon Musk dab. You guys want a car? Hey, Tesla for you. A Tesla for you. A Tesla for you. And a Tesla to the moon. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. I remember on Twitter, people were asking uh, Elon Musk, about the, the whole submarine thing. And someone's like, why don't you just put an iPod in there? And it's like, that's a great idea. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, they're like, we, we got it. We got it. We got them out. It's fine. And he's like, yeah, guys. Yeah. No, Elon, please, please. We did it. Good team. Elon Musk just wants to be loved. Let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. That's so sad. I was actually reading an interview with him. Aww. This was before he was dating Grimes. About him just contemplating his loneliness. And he was so sad. He asked the interviewer if he knew someone who he could date and he's just like I don't think I could be alone and he started to cry in the interview and it was the saddest thing like I don't I kind of don't want to like him because he has a very libertarian mindset plus he's like I have lots of money blah 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 blah. he has a really weird voice (laughs) I have lots of money (laughs) I have lots of money (laughs) yes twist his mustache he's like a Jewish caricature (laughs) No, I have lots of money. Ten years, like Italian somehow. Ten, ten years down the line, he looks like Waluigi. Oh, <laughs> Mario would never get away with these. <laughs> wow. Oh man! But yeah, they, they got the tie boys out. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Good for him. I'm sure, it's tie boys is very fun. <laughs> They got the Thai boys out. <laughs> like, it's some kind of, like, boy band. <laughs> I mean, just saying Thai boys alone makes me feel dirty. <laughs> I saw a tweet where someone's like, I can finally Google Thai boys. No, that was that was from, uh, that was Henry Zabrowski from, oh, wow. I retweeted that. He's from the last podcast on the left. Oh, wow. Third time I plugged them. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Mm, they just love when these When are they going to reciprocate that? I don't know, man. 
when we're, we're Ben we're, Kessel, I, I'm bending over for you. Love me. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Well, um, gator let's, sauce. Let's let's shift over from Marvel and go over to DC for a bit. Ah, uh, fucking gross. Well, Shazam. Ah, is that Tina Fey? Uh, well, no, that's not Tina Fey. Oh, okay. I can't no, see anything from is. here. But in Shazam, they hired uh, oh, Amy God. Schumer. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> He's really Jimon. Oh, Dijon Ponsu. Mustard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can never. I can. I've only ever. Let, read let's his try name. it. Dijon Hanso. You know him. He's in. He's in Blood Diamond. He's in. He was in um Guardians of the Galaxy as uh the guy who's like, he's like, oh, I'm Star Lord, man, and then uh he's like, who? <gasps> oh, that in guy. the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's gonna play the wizard Shazam ah. in the uh, in the Shazam movie. Which, by the way, today they actually released an image from the Shazam movie. It's uh, it's Shazam, aka Billy Batson. If you don't know the story of Shazam, he's pretty much a kid, gets powers from a wizard. Yep. He can become an adult superhero. And uh, this is an image of them outside of a grocery store or outside of a convenience store. Um, and they're both drinking from a can. And you're like, oh, cool, that makes sense. Shazam, he's an adult, he can finally buy beer. So him and his buddy are outside drinking beer. But if you look at the picture carefully, which... Is it brisky? Right here, it's, a, it's, actually, uh, it's actually a box of cola. Fucking lame. Yeah, so they kind of... Gay! I, I heard people say that this is actually from the comics, where uh, there was a scene, I, I haven't read it, but that he goes to uh, a convenience store and it looks like he's going to buy beer. But then he just buys a bunch of candy and soda. I would. Which, think. like, makes sense. He's, like, 12. He's not going to be wanting to drink beer. You know, I heard he got his powers from Michael Jackson. Oh, Michael Jackson jokes. Today. <laughs> Ayo, dab. <laughs> and then uh, on, on one last bit of DC news that I have here. Um, this one kind of... Look, a lot of news, like... And this is going to sound like a joke. It's not a joke. But it actually does hurt me. Which uh-huh. is... They, they confirm that the... Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie is actually getting made. Oh, God. And it's like, ah, oh, I'm a huge DC fan. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be ah, 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 because it's, it's not Jared Leto. Who so, is it this time? Joaquin Phoenix. He's, um... I didn't... I thought Phoenix is flu. They didn't walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just stopped for a moment and thought to myself, what am I doing with my life? I'm standing in front of the little representation of Gator Sauce as he says, What? <laughs> hey, did you know I can do this one? Yeah! <laughs> one's my You're gonna be someone's favorite uncle one day. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be fun. But, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's in, I'm trying to think of movies he's in. He played, um, Johnny Cash in Walk the Line. No, I'm, I'm Johnny Cash. I'm gonna walk the line. Yeah, he was in Her. Her? Which is also Johnny Cash? He was Johnny Cash in Her. You know the one where he falls in love with Scarlett Johansson, the, the, the phone? Oh, the one where it walks line? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he was, uh, he, he's gonna play the Joker in a solo film, an origin movie. Why did it, why not Jared Leto? What happened with that? Well, because first of all, that was bad. And okay, this one's gonna be produced by Martin Scorsese and directed by Todd Phillips. Scorsese. Yeah. Oh wow. So so it might actually be good. It might actually be good, but I don't know because DC well, Scors- was- everything I've seen by Scorsese is really good. He did Wolf of Wall Street, right? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, but like I don't know. Sometimes they, they imagine get, Joker they, titties. They get good names behind them, but then sometimes it just doesn't pan out. David Ayer had directed some really good movies before Suicide Squad, mm. and then look what happened. I don't think he cared about it though. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think really. Scorsese gives a fuck about the Joker. Yeah, I mean, I mean like if you look at his profile, he's like, has he ever done anything with like superheroes? No, I mean the way they're describing it is it, it's like going to be like a taxi driver type of movie, like a uh, set in like a kind of. Gotham City is supposed to be like New York in the 80s, sort of. It's going to be the sitcom Taxi with Danny DeVito in it. A lot of mob people walking around. I ignored that joke. <laughs> That's a throwback joke. Have you seen Taxi? No, I haven't. It's actually pretty funny. I've seen Taxi Driver. I've seen the one where Jimmy Fallon plays a taxi driver. Did you ever play the video game Taxi where you just pick up people and then you can like drive yeah. them around? Uh, that you game can was, never hit anyone? Yep. Yeah, you know what I did with them, though? Oh. Is I always drove them into the water and I killed them. <laughs> That's way worse. <laughs> I was like, I was a taxi serial killer. There's, a, there's, a cheat, there's a, some kind of like glitch where you could just 
drown people. Oh man, what are you up to this week, Kurt? Uh, Anything interesting? Uh, yeah, I saw Ant Man. Oh yeah, I saw. But Ant-Man. the conditions for Ant Man were interesting. Really, IMAX 3D. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I texted you about Ant Man, and uh, you had some interesting ideas about it. Well, first of all, I was tripping nuts. Tripping nuts. Yeah. What does that mean? I took like a tab and a half of acid, and then I went and watched it. Oh wow! Yeah, and I I brought a bottle of wine and some gummy bears to the theater. Yeah. Got a blanket. And I just camped out. <laughs> Dude, I was bugging out like half of the movie. I was like, "Whoa!" Oh god! Because like in three D, man, that shit's crazy. <laughs> That's so much to comprehend with a plot line that doesn't make any sense. Well, I saw it. I I, I saw it with a beer. <laughs> You saw, oh, one beer? Yeah, I had a single beer at the movie theater. Oh, look at you, <laughs> boy. Understand, man, yeah. You're so I'm hardcore. A, I, I represent the regular people. Speaking of that, like, I'm on, like, the major, com- like, the day after right now. Yeah, and how does it feel? I do, honestly, there's nothing in my brain. You like, had some interesting tweets. I'm just really goofy. Yeah, my tweets are funny. Yeah. I yeah. made some funny tweets. I don't know if they were, they were interesting. <laughs> I mean, you just, the context, yeah. I, guess. I was making so much ironic, like, references to how ironic I could be while making an ironic text. Yeah, you, I, I, I know that's how you felt. I felt like I was the god of irony, man. You texted me, I have overcome comedy. <laughs> I was joking about that, though. <laughs> well, Ant-Man, though, you texted me saying that there's a lot of weird angles in that movie. All right. So and I think it's just the acid talking. No, I, I really don't. Okay, so overall, I would describe the movie as campy. Mm-hmm. Like, it, Paul Rudd's acting just seems like he's... I don't know. I don't know if he thinks it's a real movie or real life half of the time. I mean, it is meant to be a lighthearted comedy. Yeah. I mean, I get the aesthetic. It's a, it's the summer yeah. movie. Yeah. That's what they're going for. That's why, that's why I like the Ant-Man movie. It's very safe. Yeah. Except for the ending. Which we'll talk about in a bit. Right, wow, yeah. yeah. That was... <laughs> I'd hate to be in his place. And we're talking about the post credit scene, not the uh, actual ending. The ending was pretty... That was all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good guy wins, bad guy loses. <laughs> kind of yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I hope this isn't a character. <laughs> no, no, that's that's just me. That's that's see, that's the repercussions of doing acid and then doing a podcast right after. <laughs> it makes sense, bro. Trust me, it makes sense. Just put a square root sign over it. Trust me. Um. So what I was talking about is like there were just so many people after Pym, Hank mm-hmm. Pym. Like he had Ghost Girl. Yeah, I didn't like the villain. What the, what the fuck was she? She I looks like, like a, it's she looks like a TV like, villain. She looks like a goddamn character from XCOM, man. Like, right. do something original. Like, go, she looks like Tom Can- Clancy's ghost. Yeah, I felt like she felt like a TV villain. I felt like I would have seen her on The Flash. It hurts. Like, it, 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 it hurts. Uh, yeah, I can't. I'm shifting in and out of reality. Even the whole aesthetic of the movie felt very TV. It, everything was mm-hmm. the labs were all clean. They were super like. I like the ants a lot. The, yeah, the answer are always an interesting yeah. part. Cause... And uh, the fight scenes, I like the fight scenes a lot. Yeah. I didn't like, oh my gosh, there was this one part where they were showing Ghost's secret operations for S.H.I.E.L.D. And there was one point where she's trying to infiltrate something, and there's a guard there. And she just kind of like does this weird, like, just like one hit knockout with the guard. And it looks super low budget. Like, very, like, I, I felt like I was watching The Flash. Mm. And I'm just like, this is a Marvel big blockbuster movie. That's why I said it felt like it's campy. I think it's intentionally yeah. made to be like that. I don't know. I don't think it was intentional. Because the first one wasn't that great. Because it felt very... Again, I, I get that it was supposed to be a kid's movie. Mm-hmm. That's the only pass. I, that's the only reason I give it a pass. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, it felt very flat. It felt very like... He didn't feel like there was there was any depth to it. And they didn't and really... the thing is, you can make a kid's movie with depth. Incredibles 2, I just watched a few weeks before. Yeah. And that was a... That movie made and they really And they... All when they were talking about the quantum physics, they're literally just putting naked quantum up. in front of words. Yeah, like Paul Rudd said. Yeah. I mean, they're they're just it's just jargon. Yeah, it's not even like I was trying to follow it, and I I'm I'm pretty smart, I guess. Even yeah. when I'm on acid, like I can follow things. I was like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> you fucking stupid. But then again, I was seeing like runes show up on goddamn like Hank Pym's face <laughs> while he's talking to. <laughs> Coca-Cola symbol just float past oh, over man. the sky. Dude, it was, <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. 
I swear to God. Like, I think they put, like... I was either tripping really hard or this is the 3D. I saw, like... I saw, like, logos of companies that would just flash in. So Maybe all... it was product placement. That's what I was thinking. During the movie, man. It's a Coca-Cola bottle flying in front of Hankyo's <laughs> face. <laughs> They don't care anymore. It's like pop-up ads nowadays. Viagra, make your dick bigger. <laughs> Watch out, Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh, man. Okay, so... Casper mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> should we uh, Should we talk spoilers? Um, yeah, but first, I have to say that the beginning of the movie, I love that. What was the beginning again? When they're on the rocket and they're... When he's doing the... That beginning segment oh, before yeah, the... explaining be- to her how... I love that. That was very... That felt like a comic book. Yeah. I'm gonna say, like, because... I imagine, like, you actually reading the comic book yeah. from, like, the golden age. And you see Ant-Man and the Wasp. They're on this fucking rocket that's, like, drawn by Jack Kirby. Well, that's from the... That's from the first movie. Yeah, it's from the first movie. Yeah. I know. But, like, the way they recapped it. And they actually showed uh, Janet's eyes because they had an actress to play her this time around. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. By the well, by the way, Michelle Pfeiffer's like de aging looked really good. Hers was on point; like you couldn't even tell it no. was de aging. Michael Douglas, on the other hand, was a bit iffy. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, Lawrence Fishburne's also looked really good. L- Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. I, you know, he did like a ton of Shakespeare acting. Really. Yeah. That's... He did King Lear. <laughs> That's relevant. I, no, I mean, like, I like him. He's fun. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, I think his son played him, actually. His son what? His son played uh, the younger version of him. Mm. I don't know if they also added his face on top of his, because his son looks a little bit like him, but not that Oh, much. so it's like Ice Cube's son. So, but Ice Cube's son looks exactly like Ice Cube. Which is fucking creepy. But Lawrence Fishburne's son looks... Do you think, do you think Ice Cube, since he made so much money off of, like, NWA and all of his producing, which he did get jacked a little bit. Well, nobody you, watches the WNBA, so... Fucking asshole. Look, we already established the standard of jokes on this episode, this is, so I'm that was a ten. That, that that was the best joke we've made this whole entire podcast. <laughs> Please listen to the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> we peaked. We peaked. We're done. Um this is um from now on I'm just gonna like live in squalor and use heroin and then kill myself at twenty seven, right? Yeah. I mean it's fucking stupid. Is it suicide funny go for, though? Go for twenty eight. Ooh. Make a new club. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> right, no, no, right? Like, like you know, slash my wrist or whatever. Or just go right for 26 the and then be like, hey, you guys are all pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Too much contemplation. But what if, like, what if when I do that, like, you know, 6 9 and fucking little Yachty and all these people to fucking yeah. kill themselves at the same time I do? <laughs> <laughs> what if that is what represents us all? <laughs> I'm, like, stuck in, like, Club 26 with the fucking SoundCloud rappers. <laughs> I'm a I'm a serious artist stuck with these hack douchebags. Although I like Lily Hottie, but you know, that's a different story. Yeah. Broccoli. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so the Ant-Man. Yeah. Ant-Man, de-aging looked good. Um beginning was uh, Oh, I didn't like I didn't like the I didn't like that weird uh I know it's important to um Recycling. Paul Rudd's character, oh. yeah. <laughs> to Paul Rudd's character, uh, the Ant Man, to have um, the what Shrinking are they? The security ability. company. Oh yeah, and X- then the, XCon. Yeah, X- <laughs> XCon, which is actually got a clever name. Yeah, it's like In hey, the this is he has one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, but I, I don't know. That whole side, I don't know. They felt yeah. like they're trying too hard with the jokes with those guys. Yeah, I like because um, I thought um, what's his name? I forgot the actor who played Danny him. DeVito. But that's the second Danny De- irrelevant Danny DeVito reference. But no, the guy who played oh, Michael Para. <laughs> right. I liked his uh, <coughs> his character. What is his name? Luis, I think. Yeah, his Luis. Stories, yeah. His story. I mean, I, think, I thought the story was really. Yeah, crazy he's he's. I, I like that little bit where he was at the truth serum. Yeah. By the way, the best joke of the movie is the truth serum one. Really. Right. I thought it was good because yeah. they laid out the tracks and like it's truth serum. Yeah. It's like no, it's not. And then at the very end, it's like, oh, it's truth it's like, serum. I've always thought that too. I've always heard like, 
you know, I've, I've looked into that stuff growing up, watching NCIS and seeing Truth Serum and stuff, and I'm like, hey, is that real? And people are like, well, it doesn't exist, but there's this thing that pretty much is Truth Serum. I'm like, is so this- isn't it Truth Serum? Yeah. <laughs> So I like that. I, I, that's why I, I, I love that joke. And I, I mean, I, that was like the one note I had about the movie besides it yeah. being campy. I didn't like... Um, I thought the feds, that was important, obviously. Yeah. They've th- thrown in Captain America. I like that. I liked his, the whole uh, interaction between the... What's his name? The the FBI agent and... and the and Black Man. Arms? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah the, uh, the close-up magic. I yeah, love that, how uh, really like good. socially awkward they are together yeah. at the very end, where it's like, do you want to hang out? He's like, I'll see you. Uh, He's like, when? When? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, next time, you, do you want to hang out? I like that bit. Yeah, that was the cool. one, another thing that I did, personally didn't like was the other villain, the... Well, howdy there. I'm going to steal your house and okay. you buy my weapons and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was okay. Because um, I felt like his his role in the movie was unnecessary. They could have amped Ghost character. Yeah. Made her. I didn't, like I said, I didn't like the villain. I, I didn't, I didn't like, her. like her either. I felt like he was a little bit necessary just because she wasn't as good of a villain. Right. But I've heard people say that he should have been Justin Hammer. Yeah, that would, would have been, been great. Like, why add another unnecessary character? You know, absolutely, make it an and, established and Hammer's character. like a huge villain, and because he was a big tech guy, but then he went to prison, so now he could just be dealing with black arms. You know, exactly. Bullshit. Yeah. So, um, you want to talk a little bit of spoilers? Spoilers. Yeah. So, um, Lawrence Fishburne was a villain, and he right. was he was uh, helping um, Ghost because well, he's not really a villain, sort of. Okay, he was he was helping the villain. He was but, the villain. Yeah. But now and then we find out... But, but, but benevolent, benevolently. Yeah, yeah, he was. Okay, but he was still helping the villain. Misguided good but, guy. But the thing is, her dad was Eggman, or Egghead or something, from the comics. Really? Yeah, the, her dad who died in the thing and... Oh, shit, powers. yeah, okay. Um, he was an, I forgot his name, Eggman? Egg, Egg no, I, okay, so I gotta be honest, I actually missed that part. Really? Because that's when the... Like, my trip was starting to, like, peak, and I was, like, I was, like, I, I had to go, like, take a piss, because it was, like, so intense, because that's when I realized the 3D was, like, not real. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay, so, like, for a second there, I kind of, I got sucked into the movie a bit. Yeah? And I was, like, Whoa. And then all of a sudden, Dude, and all it's like sudden, the universe, bro. And all, yeah, because, like, they went to the quantum realm, <laughs> that creepy scene where it has the dream... That shit was intense. Yeah. That kind of freaked huh. me out a little bit. <coughs> but then, like, when it started, like, getting more plot-oriented, I was like, oh, this is, like, story. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is mostly irrelevant. I know, like, I kind of get it. It's predictable. So I didn't really see that part, but, it, like, I was also kind of like, I need a break. Oh, God. Because every time I took off my... Because I had to take off 3D gl- glasses a lot yeah. because I hate 3D. Yeah, I know what you mean. And But the thing was, when you take off your 3D glasses... It's blurry. It's blurry, and <laughs> that does not help when you're on acid. Yeah. Because then everything else turns exactly like the screen, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, no, she was, uh, so her thing was she got these powers because, um, Hank Pym... She fucked a computer. No. That would have been more interesting, actually, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Hank Pym... beep boop 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 beep 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 Hank Pym used to work with her dad... <laughs> He fired her dad, and her dad went on to right. try experiments on his own. I got that bit, yeah. And then she, those one of those experiments went wrong, gave her her power, so she blames Hank Pym for being greedy and firing her dad. And I thought the whole story was dumb. I thought the villain was dumb. Her like it, it just wasn't that interesting. She her motivation was just really like it. It, it didn't it didn't seem real. I'm gonna kill her. Yeah. Even her, if it's that. Also. With a, with a Janet, who, Michelle Pfeiffer. The fucking void walk. Dude, she's a wizened awesome bitch at the end of that. I fucking love her. She's just like, oh, you gotta watch out for those quantum bitches. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> right, mate? Look I've out. I've been out here for 30 years. I've been out here for 30 years out in the quantum realm. I've killed lots of things. You wouldn't imagine what I've seen out here. It's dangerous. She's holding a yeah. fucking spear that she made out of glass or I some shit. I don't know shit. why she has an Australian accent. Though. Well, like, once you spend, like, a long time in the quantum realm, you slowly become Australian. Yeah. <laughs> but she, uh, I thought she was going to be evil. 
I'm really glad she wasn't. I just got that vibe from her, where she was like... Well, she's dead anyways. for a long time. She's dead anyways, so it doesn't matter. What do you mean? What? Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Oh, yeah. The, okay, so we're skipping over the post credit scene. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was... I mean, I thought at least, like, one of them was going to survive. No. Well, no, Ant-Man survived. I mean, Ant-Man survived. Okay, Which I was surprised because... I was surprised because I thought most of the people that lived were just the original, like, Avengers from the first few movies. Like, who lived? We had uh, Thor. I mean, the original Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk. And then... uh, Black Widow? Black Widow survived. Mm -hmm. Hawkeye, presumably, is still alive. We don't know. We didn't see him. We assume he is. Um, Wakanda Forever died. Yeah. uh, Well, Wakanda Forever is... uh, Okoye survived. Okoye? Yeah. She survived, um, but no, I think, okay, do you think that Ant-Man survived because of the snap, because it was random? Or because he's in the quantum realm. Yeah, that's the question. Can the snap access the quantum realm? And now, but, before he went in, someone, I think it was Janet, said something like, don't get stuck in a time vortex. You're right, right. And you know that's going to have an effect on the thing. Oh, before. dude, the, 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 there was like one guy behind me, and he was like, he was laughing at all the jokes that I was laughing at. Yeah. He was laughing at the Morrissey joke, which I thought was really funny. Yeah. He was like, time travel! He just shuts it out, like, in the middle of the theater. I was like, dude! Dude, you want acid too? <laughs> no, and I'm pretty sure, like, the little kids no. saw me, like, drinking the wine and shit yeah. like that. I mean, I, was, I think I brought a wine in also. You did that for... No, I didn't drink a beer. I you did that for... Wine. You drank that for Justice League. Yeah, you're right, yeah. You thought, you taught me that. And I like that movie theater doesn't go fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I thought I'd drink a beer. No, I drink a wine in there. As if it makes a difference. Yeah, it does. Not really, because I felt less drunk than if I drank a beer. That's true. I don't know, maybe it's because I sit the whole time. Like an adult. <laughs> oh dude, I just chugs a wine and does acid before a movie. Dude. <laughs> I'm never gonna watch IMAX three D on acid ever again. <laughs> That's a very specific rule now. But I will do it on a. I'll do IMAX, but just not 3D, man. Fuck that shit. I have glasses already on. I don't need a second pair. What the fuck is this? God damn. <laughs> Hollywood dickheads. Oh, God. Hey, let's make a movie look like it's 3D when it's actually just 2D, but you know, everything's blurry if you take your glasses off. It's, it's like you're in the movie. It's like you're in the movie, but it's virtually unwatchable if you're not wearing the glasses. <laughs> oh, and your best friend, he came out of the screen. I'm Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is exactly what he sounds like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we, we have the accurate. Depiction of Harvey Weinstein. There Harvey we go. Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah, see, no, it's Weinstein. People are going to call you out on that. Why? People hate him. Look, I'm biggest, allowed. The biggest controversy on this podcast is people are going to call you out for saying Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the Michael Jackson thing? Jeez, no. Okay. That is nothing. Harvey Weinstein. Okay, so what, how would you rate Ant Man? <sighs> on the thumb scale or star scale? Uh, I mean, we started the thumb scale. Well, okay. Just, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. We're all going to die. That's true. The universe. We're going to get into a nuclear war soon enough, so why should we bother with that? I'm going to say four fingers on one hand uh, and a ring finger on the other hand. So that's, that's like, average. Well, for me, on one hand, I would say the movie's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Definitely not, because they hyped it up a lot in yeah. the media, in the news media. I think it could have been a lot better. I thought... It was very, uh, this, there wasn't any real style there. It felt just like a, kind of like what you, just here's a movie about Ant-Man. Typical story. It felt like a TV kind of universe type thing. Yeah. It felt like, I, it felt like, like an episode said, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like I said, campy. Like, um, so. I mean, there was even a, a few scenes in the woods, so yeah. But on Jesus one hand, Christ, that was good. That was good. That's clever. You don't have to say it's clever. Just let it be. No. So then, on one hand, you have a. So on one hand, I'd give it like a. I'd give it a, two fingers. Ooh, that's really bad. Yeah, like a peace sign. On the other hand, I'll say, hey, it was a kids movie, so like I'll that will give it a pass. So on that hand, I'll give it like four fingers, right? Oh, so yeah, yeah. So like just about the same as mine, but a little bit higher. Yeah. I don't like. 
Probably because I saw it. I'm going to watch it again, of course. Yeah, I would probably do that sober. Yeah. Or, you know, at the most, alcohol. Yeah, but I mean, I liked it. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it. it especially for the acid trip. It got really cool when they went down the quantum realm. And you're like, wow! Oh, these Marvel movies are never as trippy as you think they're going to be. That's true. But I mean, like... Doctor Strange, everyone's like, bro, that's going to be so fucking crazy. I'm going to watch that on acid. And... I wouldn't watch Doctor Strange yeah, on acid. I would not... fucking lose my shit. Really? It was mm-hmm. only one trippy scene. I know, but I'd lose my shit for that scene. Hmm. Well, that was a break right there. Yep, and, um, you know, we just got more beer, you know? You know how it be? Yeah, so... Ching, ching, ching. Yeah, I... Let me open mine. Ah, yes. So, we were, uh... Originally, we were supposed to have a guest on here. Um, no he one... got critically ill. Yeah, I actually got him sick. Um, I'm recovering, which I shouldn't be drinking beer right now, but the show must go on. It's good for your immune system As, if you uh, don't think about it. Yeah. Anything's good for you if you don't think about it. <laughs> I guess. Like heroin. Sure. Well, um... Kurt has informed me that um, we still we managed to find a last minute guest. Arr, yar. Yeah, this is this is my friend. We found him on the oh, street. God, he was hanging. He was hanging around a fish shack or something. Oh yeah, yar, yar. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. Uh, so hi, hi. Um, I I think I should stick to mostly interviewing him. Ah, uh, yes. My name's Scurvy Joe Jackson's Flashbuckle. Do this, man. I don't know, man. This guy's kind of creeping me out. I think he's a real life pirate game, like not uh, Somali, but I mean, like, yeah. like he's wearing. I'm wearing a red coat. We're doing characters now. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So, w- w- what's your name, sir? Scurvy Joe Jackson Swashbuckle. Oh, I hope you remember that. Scurvy Joe Jackson. <laughs> I need more rum. Yarg. <laughs> So, uh, what, what do you do for a living? Bro? I kill people! You kill people? Where are their money? So you're, uh, you're a pirate? I, th- I think that's what he's trying to say, but, like, I feel like it's controversial for him to actually, like, come out and say he's a pirate. Yeah, I'm glad you're here to explain his thoughts. <laughs> well, he needs it. Because he's very drunk. I mean, look at this guy. He's just, he just fucking fell over. <laughs> um, he fell over after you said he fell over. <laughs> Oh, my big leg! Well, I'm I'm sorry we don't have enough beer for you. Um, we only have two right now. One for me, one for Kurt. I mean, if you want to share with Kurt, it's okay, laddie. I drink my own piss because it tastes like rum. Matter of fact, my whole blood system is just alcohol. Wow. How does that? How does one survive with a blood system of just alcohol? You're, are you saying if I stabbed you? You would be pretty much... You would get very drunk. You would be like a rum tap. I'm very much like a rum tap. Huh. I'm like a walking bottle of rum. (laughs) Red rum. Red rum. If you spell it backwards, it's a really other cool word. Murder, yeah. So is, is is it murder? I mean, isn't that from the Stephen King book? Isn't that where that first came out? Yeah, Shawshank Redemption? Uh, No, no, I think it was from uh, Cujo. Cujo? The one with the dog. Yar, yeah, the one with the dog. You know, big yar. Uh, two strings. What? Yeah. Uh, whoa, Ouija. <gasps> L- Waluigi board. Yes, that one. Ah. Oh, man. So, uh, so Mr. What's it, what should I call you, sir? You call me Scurvy Joe. Scurvy Joe. <laughs> Scurvy Joe, I noticed that when you came in, uh, you have a... You're missing a leg there. Oh, yes. I lost it at a paper mill. <laughs> I want to hear this story. Um, well, you see, before I was a uh, um, uh, nautical entrepreneur yeah. that kills people, I was working at a paper mill. And one day, one of my coworkers was like, look over there. I looked and he pushed me and I fell into the grinder. And then I lost me leg. Now I have a wooden peg leg. Look at it. Boom. <sighs> No, that's a pretty impressive leg. <laughs> What's it made of? Is that is it mahogany? No, laddie. I'm gonna, I just I'm took a stand to the side. Right I took now. a desk chair and I just chopped off one of the legs and I shoved it in my hole. The the remaining stump of my, it was covered in blood and it just grew around a little thing. I hey, uh, Kurt, I'm gonna 
I have to go use the bathroom real quick. Do you mind just interviewing this guy for a bit? You want me to go into the bathroom with you? No, no, you can... You can drink my peace rum! I'm good, actually. I think I have this beer here, uh, this whole garden. Um, I think Kurt has some interesting questions for you. Oh, on... garden? Is that where you saw your mom last week? Oh, you guys will get along just great. Um, I'll be right back. Why don't you guys take care of this? So, um, Scurvy Joe, can you tell us, I, I think you're, you're, you're gonna be our sponsor this week, right? Yes, I work for Joe's Crab Shack. This week on Gator Sauce, we will be supporting you with our crabs. Not money, but crabs. We'll just give you a bunch of crabs. Well, that's very generous. Like, what, I, you know, uh, what do we do with all these crabs? Oh, you can eat them, but you can keep them as pets, too. Oh, uh, really? Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. Hey, do you want a pet crab? Uh, wait, what? You, do you want a pet crab? Oh, yeah, they're very nice pets. You um, gotta put rubber bands in our hands, though. I, th I think I'm good. Um, I'm gonna be here probably for the rest they're of the They're blue crabs. They're very cute. <laughs> They're blue until you cook them, and then they turn red. Red like the devil's face after he jerks off. He does what? what? You know, when you jerk off, your face turns very red. All right, Scurvy Joe, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's very true. That, you know, I, it's a fair point. Gabe, does your face turn red when you jerk off, or is that just me? And, or, and him? Hey, I'm back. Um... Oh, Kids don't do drugs ever. Just, just don't do drugs. Well, uh, um, Gabe, let's thank, let's thank our guest. Um, what was the point of that? I mean, he's knocking shit Kurt, over. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. <laughs> he's just you're knocking over your shit. He's just knocking shit over right now. You're making a mess of your own apartment. <laughs> He's just throwing shit everywhere. I think we gotta, like, escort him out. Get him back to his boat. I need to get back to my boat! I'm not on water anymore. What's going on here? All right, Scurvy Joe. Everyone, give it... Let's, let's get him out of here. I'm not coming. <laughs> Oh God! Oh man! Fucking Christ! What the? Kurt, did we just bring a fucking pirate in here? Why did I? Why did I? Why did I do that? Why? Are, how do I even know a pirate? How? How is this real? What are we doing, man? I don't fucking know. Is this because you want more listeners? <laughs> no, I we, thought it was interesting. You were looking at the numbers and you decided, hey, you know what? We need characters on the show. We need an actual pirate. Yeah, and then you decided, hey, we don't have anyone to do characters. So I brought in a pirate. Yeah, you brought Yeah, you brought in a <laughs> Well, you know, I heard that Scurvy Joe, like, you know, before he had his paper mill accident, he was actually a very nice guy. You know, very much like Michael Scott. An, uh, an upstanding paper mill guy. You know, very sweet. But then he got into the rum... His wife left him. Yeah. One of his kids died of typhoid fever. <laughs> you know a lot about this guy. <sighs> well, yeah, you know, he just talks about random shit. Arrgh! Oh, oh he's shit, he's back! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think, I think... We Hold have... on, guys, we're, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna, we're gonna deal with this. Oh. But, but yeah, uh, gee, blah, oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. Um, Kurt uh, informed me I was while well, I was in the bathroom... Uh, Joe, must be Scurvy Joe. Scurvy Joe, yeah. S Scurvy Joe left us a bunch of crabs. I, I went to his car and, it, like, Gabe, I'm not sure how you're gonna drive home because it's just fucking crabs everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how any of this is fucking relevant to, like, the point of our podcast. <laughs> how. Why did you let me do this? <laughs> we were getting the beer. And Kurt looks at me. And he's like, I want a pirate on the show. And then he started doing pirate sounds. <laughs> and he's like, I've been practicing a pirate. Arr!
I mean, I'm sure you Scurvy Joe's a very real person. <laughs> He's a real person. And Kurt just really wanted to have him on the show. I was a bit hesitant because I'm like, shouldn't we, you know, if we're going to have Scurvy Joe on the show, wouldn't it make sense for you to leave? And then, you know, we wouldn't have too many people in the room at the same time and you wouldn't feel obligated to talk to him. But no, we, we, you wanted to stay. Well, see, the thing is, like, I kind of get how a pirate, like, does things. You don't. Yeah, so I love You were kind of intimidated. You fucking got scared. I'm going to be honest. I didn't actually leave the room when I said I was going to leave. I just couldn't talk. Because I was he, laughing he fucking, so hard. He fucking hid behind, like, in my bathroom. He was, like, hiding in my fucking bathroom. Like, laughing in my bathtub <laughs> on all fours. It was very weird. Um, yeah. Scurvy Joe was too drunk to notice, though. Yeah, so he was. Was. I, do you think, like, do you think, I feel like I'm talking to a kid about Santa Claus. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, well, Santa Santa left me this bike. And I'm like, yes, he did leave you this bike. <laughs> Santa just left you a bunch of fucking crabs, kid. Yeah, Santa looked a lot like Daddy. Yeah, he did look like Daddy, didn't he? <laughs> but I don't have the heart to tell the kid that <laughs> But yeah, Scurvy Joe um, was a... Uh, he left a bunch of crabs in my room. It's fucking in, in, in my your car, car dude. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck. Um... Well, so Gabe, do we have any more news? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I gotta go home. <laughs> Think about my life. We well, we have to continue the podcast. Be strong, <laughs> right. motherfucker. You're right. Um, yeah. Uh, last week, I actually asked people to to, to send me messages on if they mm. uh, send us both messages if they had listened that far. Did no one had. Yeah, no one's listening to this. No one's listening. So that's why... It's, that's, this is great. I love this. I'm honestly... This part of the podcast is where we don't give a fuck. Well, I'm actually... I'm My pants are literally this. off right now. <laughs> can't even see this. You can't even see this now. But, like... My yeah. balls are super sweaty. It's awesome. Oh, God. Yeah, well, oh. no. I mean, like, you know. But, yeah, no, I think... I think it's better to have a podcast that nobody listens to. Exactly. Than to have one that people listen to. We're doing it for ourselves. Yeah, like, you. okay, you hear all these podcasts, your big Mark Marins, you got your fucking, your fucking uh, NPRs. You NPRs know. radio, though. Yeah, well, you got your fucking Night Vales. Comedy Bang Bang. Comedy Bang Bong. You know, they fucking, you know, they originally their name was Comedy Death Ray, but they fucking sold out, bro. It was Comedy Death Ray. They sold out and changed huh. it to Comedy Bang Bang. And that's because they had too many listeners. Oh. We don't have too many listeners. Should we just call ourselves Gator Bang Bang? No, we're fucking we're not selling out. We're selling we're, we're I punk promise rock. you. I'm making a promise to the listeners of this podcast that because we don't have enough listeners, we're never going to sell out. We're never going to change our name. I'm telling you that right now. We're fucking punk rock. Fucking Gator Sauce, Hot Sauce over here can come after us. What's their name? Gator... Gator Hammock. Gator Hammock can come after us and try to get us to change our names. But we ain't Fuck fucking that. doing it. No, we don't even need not. sponsors. Yeah. We're not selling out because nobody listens to Look this. Look us. We just have a bunch of fucking crabs now. We don't have real money. We're doing this for ourselves. We're doing this for ourselves. You know, I like to listen to the sound of my voice while I stroke it. And by stroke, you mean your cat. You're petting your cat. No, I was talking about golfing. Oh, wow. You didn't know you golf. We're sitting outside of a golf uh, course right now, and someone just rode by on the golf cart. Mm. Yeah. Fucking rich prick. He's probably a nice guy. You don't know that. We should burn his house down. Yeah, let's go do that. All right, so this is an episode of Gator Sauce. Oh, uh, well, uh, well, wait. We wait, gotta, gotta read got the beer. Oh, yeah, shit. We gotta read this beer. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Out of all the beers we've drank so far, this is probably Fully, it's not, not my it, favorite. Yeah. Okay, so I would say this is right below a beat of Purple Haze. I like the, I like Purple Haze. Probably. I did not like it. I liked it. I, I, I thought it was all right. I liked it. I mean, my top was Guinness Blonde. Yeah, because you're... Because what? A fan of gay, Guinness Blonde, yeah. What, are you, you make a joke there about my being gay or something? Are you gonna fucking that do that? Being gay. You straight white male. I'm not even white. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I don't like this as much as the other ones, but we got it on a whim, and it's better than I thought it would be. I'm giving it the same rating as Ant Man. Same. I'll do that. For on one hand, it was it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. But on the other hand, it was made for kids. <laughs> Hey kids, try 
it is Ho Garden! Yeah, I feel like Shazam over here drinking beer. Basically. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the thing is, like, it's a little bit too earthy. Yeah. It a doesn't, little bitter. Yeah, a little bitter. It kind of, if you ever have it, Spaten, which is a German Fuck beer. Fucking hell. Yeah. I'll bring that in, like, next time. Maybe. Or sometime. Well, weren't we supposed to be reviewing another beer? We were supposed to be in Shiner, but I can't... The last minute, Kurt's like, No, no, this one, Hogarden, I like the name! I want to make a joke about the Hogarden, come on! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, so maybe next time we'll get Shiner or Spotten. One of the two. Sh- yeah. So, um, well, New York. Thank you for listening. This has been a pre-recorded episode of the Gator Sauce Network. We here at Gator Sauce hope you've had a wonderful and fantastic listen to our podcast as we have talked about many different pop culture things and brought in a very special guest. Arr, it's me, Scurvy Joe, and I'm Scurvy Steve. Scurvy Steve! Next week on Gator Sauce. Arr!